In the mere two hours that we have this evening, it's going to be really hard to capture all the wonderful things that these teachers have accomplished. So as you can see, we're just sort of sharing a few highlights. So I'm hopeful that at the end of this evening's ceremony, you'll take some time and go over and introduce yourself and meet the teachers and learn a little bit more about what they've done. The next teacher that I'm going to talk about this evening is Elizabeth Eubanks. Elizabeth Eubanks sailed on a fisheries cruise in 2007 for two weeks aboard NOAA ship David Star Jordan. Ms. Eubanks has been teaching for 18 years and currently teaches science at Palm Beach Maritime Academy in Montana, Florida. Ms. Eubanks led by, leads by example and encourages her students to be leaders too. After her students had pa papers of their own accepted to the Ocean Sciences meeting in Utah, she helped them raise enough money to go and present their work. Students learned from other scientists and presented a poster about the benefits of having a teacher who participates in real world teacher, in real world research experiences such as Teacher at Sea. Not only did they go to Utah, but her students also presented at the Marine Science Conference in Alaska and Hawaii. While teaching at St. Mark, Mark Catholic School in 2012, Ms. Eubanks led a green team of students to create a culture of learning about sustainability and a more sustainable future at their school. The team received a Green School of Excellence Award, which is the highest honor given by the Palm Beach County Florida Green Schools Recognition Program. Recently, in 2014, Ms. Eubanks had another opportunity to connect her students to NOAA Science. Dr. John Carlson, a NOAA Southeast Fishery Science Center research fishery biologist, and his team traveled to the Bahamas to locate, tag, and track one of the most endangered marine fish, the small tooth saltfish. Although she only had a week to prepare, and it wasn't part of her current curriculum, Ms. Eubanks enthusiastically agreed to have her students follow Dr. Carlson's expedition online and teach them all about saltfish. Not only were they lucky enough to learn the science, what the scientists were able to do, but the scientists were able to catch and release several saltfish. Dr. Carlson's team was so thrilled to have the students following that they named one of the saltfish after Miss Eubanks. <laughs> <laughs> and they also later had a video conference with Miss Eubanks and her students. Miss Eubanks? I put my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Ms. Elizabeth Eubanks, for continuously sharing your passion for ocean science and exciting your students and community to be ocean stewards, it is my honor to present you with the NOAA Teacher at Sea Program Excellence in Science Education Award. I have two. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> the ship or the hat? The ship. The ship's been decommissioned, so I think it is a collector's item. Yeah, so we know you don't go in debt without the <laughs> Same people. Same people that sell on the floor, sell on the 